When Donald Trump last held the office of United States president, he used his position and power to appoint federal judges to significantly impact and reshape the court system by appointing ultra-conservative and often underqualified judges to those lifetime roles. Among those appointments were three conservative judges to the United States Supreme Court. Those appointments shifted the court to a majority of conservatives, and that majority has been busy rewriting decades of settled law that protected the rights of women and minorities. They have overturned affirmative action. They overturned Roe versus Wade, which protected women's rights to make health choices for themselves. And they invalidated important sections of the Voting Rights Act. In short, they have been working hard to eradicate and eliminate legal protections for us, women and people of color. But they had no problems when called upon by the man who put them there to create new law to protect him. In a stunning decision, the court recently held that a president was almost wholly immune from prosecution for criminal conduct engaged in while he was president greatly expanding the powers of the executive branch beyond anything ever done before. Justice Sotomayor describes the troubling effect of the decision in her dissent. She writes, the president of the United States is the most powerful person in the country and possibly the world. When he uses his official powers in any way under the majority's reasoning, he now will be insulated from criminal prosecution orders the Navy SEALs Team 6 to assassinate a political rival, immune. Organizes a military coup to hold on to power, immune. Takes a bribe in exchange for a pardon, immune, immune, immune. Our current US Supreme Court protect average citizens in this country? Nope. Protect a convicted felon facing four additional felony criminal prosecutions? Yup. And so the main point I want to make to you today is that this degradation of our laws and our democracy is what happens when we do not vote. To protect our rights, we must use our rights. No excuses. Thank you for joining us. I'm Andy Zapp. Be well and well informed.